Hello guys, uh, it's been a long time since I've uploaded a video, so uh, sorry for that. So by the way, this video is just a basic insights on how to solve questions related to the topic SIRDS. By the way, this is for the A-level mathematics course, so uh, for the exam board at Excel. So hopefully this video will help you all in order to understand these type of questions. By the way, uh, this will be just five questions walkthrough of the hard questions related to the topic SIRDS. And uh, at the end of the video, there might be a bonus question where I'll be solving. So do stay in tune for all the questions walk through. And if you guys have enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe channel. It really helps a lot. And uh, yeah, let's begin with the video. All right. So the first question states that you have to evaluate the cube of 15 raised to the power of 5 divided by 8. So now in this case, what you're going to do is since we can see that there's a mixed fraction in this cube root, what I'm going to do is we're going to convert this into a improper fraction. So in order to do that, you're going to have three cube root. So it's going to be 15. So that's 8 times 15 positive. So what you're going to do is you're going to have, I'm going to write down, put, put it in your calculator, by the way. So it's going to be 15 times 8 plus 5. That's going to be 125 divided by 8. So now what I've done is I've converted this mixed fraction into an improper fraction. So do take in mind that you guys have understood that. So all you need to do is just put this in your calculator and get the, let's say the simplified version. So you have 125 divided by eight. That's gonna give you a value of about five divided by two. Now you guys can leave this uh, value as it is. You don't need to convert it into decimal. Just leave it as a fraction itself, it's all right. Now since this is in an improper fraction state, what you guys can do is that you guys can convert this into a mixed fraction, that's all right as well. It's going to be, I think, like 2, 1 by 2. So it's going to be 2 half. So you're going to leave it as it is, but it doesn't matter. It could be 5 divided by 2 or 2, 1 half. All right. So let's move on to the next question. Now, the next question is about simplify. So you guys can see that there's 3 cube root again of 2, but raised to the power of 3. Now, for this type of question, we have to simplify it. So we can either leave it in fractions or we could leave it as thirds. So. Since you have this kind of analogy, you might get a whole number in this case. So we know that the laws of indices states that a raised to the power of m, all in brackets of n, is going to be equivalent to a m times n. Okay, you're going to use that rule of laws of indices to apply for all of this. So what I'm going to do is going to raise 3 to the power of 3 as well, since it's a multiplication in between each other, right? And you're going to have, you're going to multiply this with 3 square root 2 all brackets all raised to the power of three because you're taking these as individual individual components, all right? So you're gonna raise it to the power. So you have three raised to the power of three, multiply by square root or let's say of three. So you're gonna put that in calculator and you're gonna have raised to the power of three. So it's gonna give you a value of fifty-four. Now if you put this in your calculator you'll get a value of fifty-four. So fifty-four is gonna be our answer for about let's say one mark or something I think for this type of question all right so just do stay in mind that this is just using laws of indices rules so it's a pretty tricky question but just understand it all right let's move on to the next question now the next question is to express it in the form of k square 2 now in thirds they might ask you to use the value that is specified in the question so what you need to do is going to have 162 and going to divide it by to the value that the question is asking us to solve it for so you have 162 divided by 2 to give you a value of about 81 so that's going to be answer for about 81 but you guys are not going to leave it as it is so what you're going to do is you're going to convert this to square root of 81 multiplied by the square root of 2. Now, square root of 81 can be also simplified into 9. So it's going to become 9, right? So you have 9 times square root of 2, which is going to be 9 square root 2. Since you know that square root 81 times square root 2 is going to be equivalent to square root 162, since 81 times 2 is 162, you're going to take the square root of 81 to be about 9. So the square root of 81 is 9 times the square root of 2. It becomes automatically, it's going to be a surf form like we have expressed, like k square root of 2. So it's going to become 9 square root of 2. That's going to be an answer for about maybe 2 or 3 marks. All right, let's move on to the next question. Now, the next question is to simplify square root 208. Now, in this case, they have not mentioned 
any uh, let's say any value that we have to divide it by. So we can leave it as a third itself. So you have 208. We can divide this, um, let's say, by the number 13. So I'm going to take the number 13. So you have 208 divided by 13. So you're going to have the value 13. You guys can do that with 4 as well if you want. But the reason I've taken 13 is because you have to find a value which gives you let's say a square root number so you're going to take two values one of which is a square root number so here in, in this case if I'm taking 16 and 13 the value where I got 16 from is if you do 208 divided by 13 you get a value of about 16 so one crucial thing that you guys must remember is to take two numbers and one of them has to be a square root number so you're going to have to take that into consideration so you have square root 16 times square root 13 we know that square root 16 is going to become 4 we're going to do the same process again so you're going to have 4 times square root 13 to give us a value of about 4 square root 13 that's going to be an answer let's say for about 3 marks or 2 marks max so this is type of question that's related to thirds you have to pick two numbers one of which is a square root number and uh, yeah that's how you simplify this type of third and uh, you get 4 square root 13. Just leave it as it is. All right, let's move on to the next question. Now, the fifth question is to express in the form of a plus b square root 3. Now, you guys can see we have to use the concept of, uh, let's say, expanding the brackets. So you guys have to understand how to expand the brackets. By the way, I have a videos on that as well if you guys want to check it out. All right, let's move on. Let's move on to understand this type of question. So what we're going to do first is we're going to expand the brackets. Hopefully you all know how to exp expand the brackets. So you're going to have 3 square 3 times 2. That's going to be about 6 square 3. You're going to have minus 5 times 3 is going to be 15. 15 square 9 square 9 automatically becomes a positive 3. So you're going to have 15 times 3 plus 2 minus 5 square 3. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to arrange all the like terms together. You're going to do that as well. So you have negative 15 brackets 3, positive 2. You're going to take this all together. Now you're going to get a value of about minus 43. So you have 6 minus 5. That's going to be square root 3, negative 43. So that's going to be your uh, answer in this case. But you're not going to leave it as it is because we have to rearrange this type of equation in a nice form when representing it. So you're going to have minus 43 plus square 3. Now this is a nice form of representing it in the form of a plus b square 3. Like I said, we have to represent this form. So a in this case is minus 43 and b is just 1. You guys can specify that in the exam if you guys want to. By the way, it doesn't matter. Just leave it as it is unless they specify, unless, or let's say, unless they ask you to specify the values for a and b individually or respectively all right so it's going to be minus 43 plus square root 3 all right let's move on to the last question now the last question is going to be a bonus question which i'm going to be solving as to how to simplify you have to simplify this question with a rational denominator so you have to convert this into form of rational denominator so now one key crucial tip here guys is to multiply both the numerator and denominator by the value that you have in the denominator so what i mean by this is going to multiply by the top and the bottom by the bottom number so it's going to be 2 square 27 2 square 27 that's going to be your way of rationalizing the denominator in this case all right so what are you going to do is you're going to get those kind of values either you guys can simplify this it's all right as well so you guys can do that when dealing with simplification of these values and um so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use everything in powers of 3. So that's much more, uh, let's say, much more effective when simplifying these type of questions, right? Because everybody has to understand how the simplification works. So we know that square root 175 is equivalent to 5 square root 7. We know that because I've just put, in, in, I've just put this in the calculator, so you get square root if you just put square root let's say square root 175 you get 5 square root 7 that's going to be your value in this case and you have square root 27 square root 27 gives you approximately a value of 3 square root 3 
So what you're going to do is you're going to have three, put in brackets, whatever the value of this square root is in serve form, which is going to be 5 squared 7, put that in brackets, divided by 2 brackets, whatever the serve form of square root 27 is, in this case it's 3 squared 3, and you're going to multiply this by 2 times, again, 3 squared 3, 2 times 3 squared 3. So I'm just leaving this in the form of, let's say, in the simplified form. So once you do that, you're going to get 15 squared 7 times 6 squared 3. You're going to have 6 squared 3 multiplied by 6 squared 3. Once you do that, you're going to have 15 times 6. So it's going to be 90 square root 7 times 3. It's going to be 21 divided by 6 times 6 is going to be 36 square root 9. This is going to give you a simplified version of, if you do 36 times square root of 9, this is going to be 108. So you're going to have, you're going to have 90 square root 21 divided by 108. Now, the square root of 21 is a decimal number. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut these two values up. So you're going to have a value of about, let's say, 5 and 6. Now, you cannot leave this, uh, you actually, you can leave this as 5 and 6, and you're going to leave it as equivalent, equivalent to 5 divided by 6 square root 21. Now, this kind of rationalizing and finding out values based on the simplification is really critical that you multiply the values correctly. So this bonus question is pretty a little bit more hard, but you guys can do this. I know that. So you have to simplify it with rationalizing the denominator. What I mean by this is multiply the top and bottom by the number that is in the denominator. So that's why I multiplied both the top and bottom by 2 squared 27. And I found simplified versions of these. So you have 5 squared 7. All I've done is I've just used a calculator in order to understand what the simplified versions are. And I've multiplied the values accordingly so that you guys can solve it. So all I've done is square root 175 is just 5 squared 7. So I've just put the values there just to replace it. And I've just multiplied it. Then I multiplied these values together to give you the value of 90. And I multiplied these values together to give you a value of square root 21. And uh, same thing for the denominator as well. So you guys can see 6 times 6 is 36. Square root 3 times square root 3 is square root 9. And by the way, if you have 36 squared 9, this should be given to us as 108. This should be the value of 36 squared 9. And what I've done is I've just done simplification to get a final answer of 5 divided by 6 square root 21. That's going to be your answer for about 3 marks or, yeah, 3 marks roughly, I think. 2 marks or 3 marks roughly in this case. So 5 divided by 6 square root 21 that's going to be your answer okay guys this seems to be the uh the end of all these questions so if you guys have enjoyed the video please do like share and subscribe to the channel it'll really help a lot and by the way um more videos will be coming out soon this week so do stay uh in tune and uh i think that's it by the way uh the new videos will be posted uh, in the palette here i think so do check out those videos as well and uh, yeah, do comment below on what your thoughts are about this video. If you guys want me to continue solving questions related to past papers or questions related to topics, just comment below on what your thoughts are about that. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. All right. Thank you, guys. All right. Bye, guys.